what matters to me is the life of the line. When I draw, it is the writing that is slowly untied and unravelled, and my line can be alive or dead. The drawing is good if the writing is alive. A line is in danger of death all the way through its journey. Look at the lovely free hand here, the pure one line, pure, hardly any corrections, little correction there, but free, taking a line for a walk, lovely confidence, meander, it's purity to it, like pure continuous contour gives a pure freedom. Look at the illusion of nothing. And this becomes something, even though it's a white page, because he's seen it, this now becomes something. Now I thought this was quite a simple drawing to take the line from Meander, to wake the hand up, to open the wrist, this is the, this is the most important joint, the wrist, to have a Meander. That... I'm going to start here. Lovely waving lines. Get the wave. Wavy lines comes up and over. And around it goes. And here there's another. Oh lovely. Looks look at that. Lovely wavy line. Excellent drawing. Oh I can enjoy this. Look how lovely and free these lines are. Woo! Around it goes. Yes, there's a lovely slight curve and undulation to them. Ooh, nice drawing. Wow, this is a nice way to wake the hand up. Now I'm going to put in an extra stripe, hey? Right, down that line it goes like that. And continuous line, it just waves through the sky. And there's another wavy day. Wake! Oh, the hand is waking up. This is a beautiful drawing. This one. Look at that. Okay, let's. What are we doing here? Let's come back here. Right, this is the most important line. Up the throat, over the larynx, beautiful chin this one. And around it goes. And slight indent. And the line stops here. He's got another line starting here. Small upper lip. Over the nose, beautiful nose. Okay, my wrist now I've got to come round. Up it comes and then the bridge. Nice pronounced bridge. And a slight back. That's a beautiful line. And he's carried it on here into the hair, into the eternity. And there's another slight. Yeah, you can almost hear the Mediterranean Sea flowing and the smell the salt and the sand. Beautiful drawing, this one. Okay. Right. Da, 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 da. Right, let's come back and do the nostril. Ooh, little olive. And a little nostril there. And here, the dormers, the poopy. Duff. One, two, three. And the line goes like this. And somewhere in here is the chin. 
Right, this chin goes back up like that and there's a slight pleat and up it comes. You see I'm following through and it's going to start about here. And then there's an inner ear, there's an outer ear, and there's a little. Right. Le dessin de dormeur par Jean Cocteau avec son étoile d'espérance. Adam. I will have a moon in there. Okay. So a continuous flowing line, nice easy swerves. Open the wrist up and talk your way through the, the profile. That's quite important because that's the base of it. Okay. Okay. Let's flip the drawing up the other way and see where we are. Ah, oh, look, I've signed it upside down. <laughs> That's good, isn't it? At least you know it's an upside down drawing. Right, and there it is. Uh, yeah, this eyelashes were pointing. Can you see? Look. Can you see in his eye? Come back. You see in his eyelashes there. They point forward, my ones point backwards. Uh, there's a crook in his neck, it isn't quite right, his neck. You see Jean, Jean's, the, the width is a bit... It's okay, it's not. It's alright for a first... first op it's opened my wrist up. It's a beautiful drawing and honestly beware, what you think is simple can actually be very complicated. But the takeaway is, open the wrist up. Enjoy a flowing, continuous line. Play with it. Jean certainly did. <laughs>